Hey everyone. As we're dealing with some significant issues as part of season 14, I wanted to get back in front of you all and share what we'll be doing over the next few weeks to improve the experience. Before I jump into the plan itself, I want to be clear that we're taking this situation very seriously. We're really unhappy about the quality of season 14's launch, and we're going to be taking some pretty drastic steps to get us back in control. Our first priority is stabilising your experience in live. We'll then move to re-enabling features once we're confident they meet our quality bar. So today, we're taking Sea of Thieves down for a short maintenance. Now, given it's only been a few days since launch, we don't have a hotfix that addresses the high impact issues yet. We will, however, be making some changes today. After monitoring bug reports and feedback over the weekend, we've seen that crouching has introduced a number of knock-on effects to the wider experience, such as the return of quick switching, air control from cannons, and even an invincibility exploit. While it really pains me to say it, as I've seen so many funny stories from it already, to prevent these issues from impacting our wider community, we're temporarily disabling crouching and disguises while we work to address these issues. During this short maintenance, we'll also move the Chest of Fortune to its correct location in the Fort of the Damned. I appreciate that this takes a big part of the season's toolset away from players. However, we feel like this is the right call to protect and stabilise the experience in live ahead of further hotfixes. Our commitment is to bring these features back as soon as we can. Now, we're not going to hotfix this week, as I want to be really considered with our next update, and ensure it delivers meaningful value, and crucially has had the necessary time to get a more stricter internal quality assurance. It would be really easy for us to rush out a hotfix and compound issues further. We aren't going to be doing that, and that is going to add a short delay to our first update. So, looking ahead to next week, this is when we're looking to deliver our larger hotfix. I won't lock in a date today, but we'll communicate the specific day closer to the time. Our goal here will be to provide stability to the live experience, and address high impact issues affecting the quality of our features. As part of this larger hotfix next week, we plan to re-enable crouching and disguises back in live. With November's game update then scheduled for a few weeks later, we'll wrap further fixes, improvements and balancing changes into that larger update. This update is going to trial a new process internally, providing longer time and focus for our internal testing and additional hardening with insiders to give it more quality focus than before. This update in November is where we'll enable traps and hanging from ledges, and therefore unlocking access to those previously blocked commendations, rewards and achievements. We really appreciate your patience here, and we all understand how frustrating this season's launch has been. The team are working hard to bring these features back, but crucially with a heightened focus on the quality of the experience. I know I've spoken about it before, and I'm sure you're sick of hearing it, but we know we need to do better here. And season 14 has suffered from a lack of quality control. Big changes to process are always going to take time, but we're going to be all hands on deck through the next releases to get back in control of game quality. Thank you all again for your patience and stay tuned on our social channels for more on our upcoming releases.